Good morning. I'm Michael Dillman, principal of Brunswick High School, and I want to welcome and thank you to everyone joining at home or from other locations as we celebrate the Brunswick High School class of 2020 during this morning's commencement ceremony. Please enjoy the Star Spangled Banner performed by Mr. Daryl Boffman. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming In the rocket's red glare The bomb bursting in That our flag was still there Who say does that star-spangled banner wave Ooh, the land Thank you, Mr. Boffman. I would like to introduce some of the guests that are joining us for the ceremony today. I first thank members of the Board of Education of Frederick County and welcome board member, Ms. Karen A. Yoho. She will be bringing greetings to the graduates later during our program. Also joining us is Dr. Teresa Alban, Superintendent of Frederick County Public Schools, Dr. Jamie Alavito, Executive Director of System Accountability and School Administration, and Ms. Kathleen Chappelle, Instructional Director of High Schools. Also vital to the support of our graduates are my assistant principals. Thank you to Mr. Jessen Bouchard and Mrs. Stephanie Bittner. Additionally, I wish to thank and acknowledge the work of our senior class advisors, Ms. Heather McCabe and Ms. Brittany Anderson. Thank you to everyone contributing to the efforts in producing graduation this year. At this time, I introduce Maggie Sharp and Caitlin Sweeney with their performance of For Good.
this lifetime So let me say before we part So much of me is made of what I learned from you You'll be with me Like a handprint on my heart And now whatever way our stories end I know you have rewritten mine By being my friend Like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind off the sea Like a sea dropped by a sky bird In a distant wood Who can say if I've been changed for the better But because I knew you Because I knew you I have been changed for and just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share, and, and none, none of it seems to matter anymore. Thank you, Maggie and Caitlin. That was an excellent job. I would now introduce Ms. Karen A. Yoho, who will bring greetings on behalf of the Frederick County Board of Education. Welcome, Mrs. Yoho. On behalf of the Board of Education, it is my distinct honor to bring you greetings and congratulations. Students in the class of 2020 don't do anything quietly. I was reminded that you all were born in the aftermath of 9-11. Now here you are, Brunswick High School seniors, graduating in the middle of a pandemic. I looked to the past to see how schools dealt with the 1918 influenza. In St. Louis, high school tennis tournaments continued as long as no spectators were in the stands. People did unusual things to try to keep the virus away. Some wore bags of camphor around their neck, some gargled with salt water. Some thought eating exactly three oranges a day would help. Signs were posted that cautioned against coughing, sneezing, or spitting. My favorite was a recommendation adopted by the Committee of Public Health in Mobile, Alabama. In all caps, an article in the newspaper stated, must quit kissing. Around the country, some schools were canceled while others were not. It was up to local control then, much as it is now. But if schools were closed, it was in the latter part of the year, starting in October, and not at graduation time. So it seems that you are indeed living through a unique experience. It would be all too easy to wallow in self-pity. I can't even think of all the things you've missed because of this lousy situation without tearing up. I know your parents, grandparents, and other adult family members are also feeling the regrets as they recollect the activities and excitement that come with being a senior. I promise at some point, the Board of Education, FCPS, will do our best to find a way to make your senior year special. But we're not here today to feel sorry for you. We're here to celebrate you. I believe you had the distinction of being the smallest high school in Frederick County 
which helps create the atmosphere of being close-knit that people always mention. That goes for both the school and the town. Brunswick High School is an integral part of this big town, small city, home of the mighty railroad roaders. My grandfather worked for the railroad out west for 50 years, so I have a fondness for trains. It's a scenic area with the Potomac River and the CNO Canal nearby. I hear your Veterans Day parade is amazing. I just have to mention this past academic tournament season. Even though it may not have ended as you'd hoped, I've become somewhat of a groupie, and I can tell you that the final match was one of the most jaw-dropping events I've ever attended. Team members, you should be very proud. I came across a poignant article recently written by a high school student called A Season Lost. In it, the student talks about the disappointment of having their final senior sports season canceled. He talks about missing out on senior day. He concludes with, we all must learn from this, live life to its fullest, and take advantage of every good opportunity we have because they may not be there long. As I tried to come up with a clever message for this class, I know I couldn't have said it any better. So, as you finish your public school education during the most trying times this country may have ever seen, look for things that will make you happy. Find those opportunities that are waiting for you and be fulfilled. I know you will face the future with courage and composure just as you have the past few months. Brunswick High School Class of 2020, we wish you all the best. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Yoho. It is always exciting to hear from one of our own members of the graduating class. I would now like to introduce our student speaker for this year, Annalise Falcone. My fellow graduates, faculty, family, and friends, Today I stand before you, humbled and honored to be given the opportunity to present this address. My name is Annalise Falcone, and I've had the pleasure of getting to know both students and staff at Brunswick High School these past four years. I know this is not how we ever expected our graduation to be or to end our senior year, but as I look back at our time together, I see the memories, the accomplishments, and the mixed emotions our memories from high school have brought upon us. We never expected to be in a global pandemic, watching our own graduation from home. We did not get that traditional last day at Brunswick tailgating in the parking lot, or even our senior prom. Today is where we all should have sat together for the last time, or we should have said our goodbyes in person. But rather than dwelling on the things we missed out on, let's celebrate the time we had. We all know very well everyone lived a different high school experience, to friend groups, classes, and involvement. But the majority of us have one thing in common. This was home, where our football coach was also our history teacher. The local McDonald's was filled with people you know. Teachers probably taught your siblings or maybe even your parents and somehow everyone is related. Welcome to Brunswick. We will always remember those countless laps we took upstairs. That same table you sat at in the cafeteria. The, today can be a great day, how can you make the most of it? Saying Mr. Gilman would preach every morning. The Friday night lights so many of us will look forward to. And that same routine stroll you would take to Connections where you'd see that one kid you never knew but you'll never get the chance to talk to him again. All these people that have been in the background of your lives these past four years will soon cease to be a part of it. When writing the speech, I decided to ask a few seniors which teachers were the most influential in their lives. I got numerous responses and I could not possibly talk about them all, but here are just a few educators who go above and beyond and inspire the students of BHS. Ms. Rumble one of the most generous, kind-hearted educators who teaches the amazing kids that light up our day, including Caleb and John, who are graduating with us. Congratulations, guys. Miss Bentley, a teacher that any student can go to for anything, an educator who truly cares about the well-being of her students and wants to see them sincerely succeed. Mr. Morgan, an incredible English teacher who changes the lives of his students. With guidance and kindness, he shapes the students of Brunswick High School. Miss Moore, Roger Dawson, staff members in the office and guidance, constantly trying to keep us all on track, get here on time, and work with students to find their potential and to put hard work in the classroom. The list goes on, and I know every staff member here has influenced the lives of each one of our students. Graduates, as you look back out on your time at BHS, at your former teachers, family, and friends, 
Remember, these people that contributed to who we are will be with us wherever we go. Some advice I want to leave with you all today. Live each day to the fullest. Do what you love and do it with all your heart. And when life pushes you over, push back harder because you are a Brunswick graduate. You know the meaning behind the garden and the gold. This small community grew you, made you into the person you were meant to be, and gave you the ability to persevere when times get tough. I cannot wait to see the amazing things you all will no doubt accomplish. And I thank you for the years of incredible memories I will cherish forever. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. Thank you, Anna. I now introduce to you our superintendent of schools, Dr. Teresa Albin. Welcome, Dr. Albin. Congratulations, Railroaders class of 2020. It is an honor to join you, your families, friends, teachers, and staff who have supported you on this journey to your high school graduation. I do not think any of us would have predicted the detour you had to take on your educational journey because of the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. It has definitely made your journey unique, unprecedented, and a true life-changing experience. This crisis changed many things, but we know that our 21st century world is constantly changing, even when things are normal. Your years in school have provided a foundation for learning that will enable you to continue to grow and change. You have learned many important lessons, as your classmates have shared with me. From Braden Jones, always bet on yourself no matter what, just to not give up when the going gets tough. At the end of the day, there is going to be ups and downs. All you have to do is stay positive. From Zadie Bird, be nice to everyone. And don't judge anyone because you never know if they are dealing with anything hard at the time. From Taylor Furman, don't wait till your senior year to start getting good grades. And from Jana Snyder, the most important lesson I learned in high school is that failure is okay and it is an essential part of growing and learning. Failure teaches us how to be humble strengthens creative solutions, recommits us to our goals, and helps us believe in ourselves for the next time we are put in a tough situation. I believe the lessons you learned on your educational journey helped you to cope and adapt during this pandemic crisis. It is often said that a crisis reveals a person's true character. I think a crisis also builds our character as we must rise to meet new challenges. That is definitely what happened for many members of the class of 2020. Here are some of your classmates' reflections on the valuable lessons they have learned by living through a crisis. From Julia Moeller, an important lesson I learned is never take anything for granted. You hear this over and over again, but you never learn to appreciate anything until it is gone. From Rudesha Swain, this isn't really a lesson, but although the world is in the middle of a crisis, there is no need for negative energy. Still continue to greet people with a smile. From Kelly Kramer, the most important lesson I learned throughout this pandemic is that there is a solution for everything while getting so much practice problem solving, I have learned that it is okay to ask for help and it is always better to work with the team. And from Zach Griffin, firstly, it taught me that I hate pandemics. Secondly, it taught me the importance of getting in a routine to get things that I want to do done. If that is practicing my music for ensembles for X amount of hours, washing my car, doing schoolwork, reading my books, anything like that, making a schedule rather than a to-do list really helps me counteract resistance and keeps me from procrastinating. I have been relying on myself and developing my skills in this time more than anything. And I think this has been a time where many people are finding the same to be true in their own lives. 
The class of 2020 has grown so much in 13 years and in the last three months. You have sacrificed much during this crisis, and I hope you will reflect on what you have gained as well. Your classmates have said it so eloquently. There is no doubt that your class will be remembered in history. Yet I believe that the members of this class will be remembered in history, not because you graduated during the pandemic of 2020, but because of how you rose from that crisis to become incredible leaders, thinkers, innovators, and compassionate global citizens. And so Railroaders Class of 2020, now is your time to create positive change in the world. I wish you much success on your journey, and remember, make us FCPS proud of you. Thank you, Dr. Alvin. The graduating class of 2020, can you believe it? The day has finally arrived. You are here before us at your commencement ceremony. You all should be so proud of your accomplishments. Today is your day to celebrate, and today is the day in which we celebrate you. It is the culmination of 13 years of hard work. Take a moment, reflect on your time, reflect on those challenges, the successes, your hurdles, tears of joy, tears of frustration, and in many cases, parent persistence. All of that got you here today, and what an exciting journey it has been. For me personally, it has been a joy to watch you grow, see your personalities form, shape, and change. You have adjusted, you have worked hard, and here we are today. As I thought about my remarks and what I would say to you, the obvious would be to talk about how your senior year ended to talk about how coronavirus impacted us all, how it wasn't what we wanted, but it's what we had to deal with and how we had to learn to adapt quickly. And while all of this is true, that is not what I want to focus on today. Instead, I want you to think about the journey that brought you here, how you responded to all of the things that were thrown in front of you, and how all of those events shaped your high school experience. Your class is special to me, as you were my first cohort to see through four years at Brunswick. You were the first group that I stood before to make a promise. A promise that we were all new to Brunswick, and we were ready to begin our journey together. In a letter I sent you to your houses during the start of your freshman year, I mentioned the commitment that I was making to each of you. And that was a commitment to work as hard as possible to provide the most rewarding experience for you during your high school years. And I hope that I did that. I looked back through the many pictures, the countless tweets, the find out firsts, the announcements, and they all painted an interesting history of what your time at Brunswick was like. I mean, while at Brunswick, your class experienced tornado drills that became reality when we had to shelter in place a stadium evacuation that turned into off-site relocation, serious conversations about lockdown drills, year-long road closures, the introduction of the one-to-one -one Chromebook as a tool, power outages which sent us to the stadium for hours, an ever-changing and growing community driving us through a construction study, and a school year when snow days were not needed, but we miss almost three months of school due to the shutdown. I mean, with odds like this, one of you is bound to win the Mega Millions. Just make sure you remember me if you do. And then there were the accomplishments in the classroom through the extracurriculars. And I've highlighted those in the past, but your class has been here through all of those. You excelled academically. You came together as a class, made it clear that Brunswick could compete. We restructured our course offerings. You took dole enrollment options, excelled at CTC, participated in internships and work-study programs. Your Friday nights were filled with excitement. The student body was out to support our teams. Rotor Nation grew, and it was because of you. 
You lived up to our hashtags. One school, no limits. Go big in Brunswick and Rotor's reach. The academic team played hard. Robotics went to Worlds. We celebrated at pep rallies, volleyball matches, dunk contests, pie-eating challenges, BMX stunt shows, theater performances, band championships, regional champion trophies, individual records, and proud accomplishments that now fill our record books. The list goes on and on. But in reflecting on that commitment that I made to you as freshmen, that promise to deliver on your high school experience is far bigger than anything that the coronavirus can throw at us. It may have disrupted your senior year, but it did not define you. You defined the Brunswick High School class of 2020. You exemplified the idea that we all have a shared responsibility for our learning, for our school, and to our community. The commitment is about showing pride and passion for your school. You are Brunswick High School, and in this together, we are all Brunswick High School. I said earlier that it takes more than one person to get you here, so I want to thank your parents, your friends, your family, all the people sitting at home and watching with you today. They have been along for this journey with you, they will be with you as you move ahead, and they are so proud of your accomplishments. And I want to thank the staff of Brunswick High School for their support, for their mentoring, for working with you, dealing with your ups and downs, for learning new ways to provide instruction, and for helping shape your day into one that is productive and meaningful. <clears throat> Class of 2020, while your time at Brunswick High School is complete, your work is not done. You have many new adventures ahead. We ended the year in a new way, but that is not how your journey will end. It is just the start of many unexpected things that will be thrown your way. Continue to push hard, continue to work hard. Remember the skills you learned here at Brunswick and take those with you as you head off to your dorms, when you go to work, if you head to boot camp, or when you are faced with a tough decision. You are Rotor Nation. You are one school with no limits. You go big in Brunswick. Remember the journey and your decisions all start and end with you. And so, after four years of being with you, there is only one more thing to say. Brunswick High School, Class of 2020. It is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Today can be a great day. How will you make the most of it? Dr. Albin, members of the Board of Education, I certify that these students have met the requirements set forth by the Maryland State Department of Education and should be awarded their high school diploma. I invite the graduates to come forward. Jacob Aaron Abrams. Blake Andrew Asbury. Jake James Avalon. Gavin Scott Baker. Celeste Jillian Barber. Trevor Jacob Barnhouse. Alexander Craig Barron. Mason K. Bars. Jacob Weller Barton. Giselle Adriana Beck. Stephen Wayne Best Jr. Benjamin Thomas Bolingbrook. Chase Alexander Booher. Rebecca Lynn Booth. Gabrielle Patrice Bowie. Ryan Andrew Boyer. 
Melissa Gail Bradley. Dylan Dean Brown. Riley Douglas Brown. Isaac Dylan Butcher. Zadie Gray Bird. Montserrat Amaro Cabrera. Alejandro Alberto Caceres. Lindsay Renee Chapman. Thomas Neville Sismanic. Dylan Michael David Clayball. Alexis Louise Cole. Sydney Adriana Kahn. Eston David Connor. Thea Beth Connor. Alexandra Boswell Cook. Dalton Bryce Cooper. Haley Lynn Cordero. Kelly Dennery Kramer. Connor Joel Crutchley. Jonathan Henry Currents. Hayden Christopher Curry DaCosta. Allison Joy Davis. Morgan Alexis DeFries. Mason Wallace De Leon. Chloe Alexis Des Moines. Michaela Martel Dodson. Abigail Lee Donahoe. Thomas David Dressler. Anthony James Duckett. Hunter Josiah Dunning. Chase Zachary Eberts. Olivia Lee Estep. Lexis Madison Eubank. Annalise Francis Falcone. Abigail Susan Feuerherd. David Hyam Fisher. Caleb Michael Phobian. Ethan Xavier Cole Fritter. Taylor Nicole Furman. Ariana Rose Gates. Chris Schleiman Gurlis. Madeline Elaine Gooding. Heather Noel Goodnow. Zachary Robert Griffin. Maria Elena Cora Hadley. Xavier Alvin Haley. Maverick Aiden Hamrick. Kaylee Inez Harrison. Kaylin Grace Haskin. Sarah Isabel Hatch. Joshua Edward Hefner. Andrew Russell Held. Tyler Frederick Hempy. Jamie Lynn Henderson. Jonathan Ellsworth Henry. Jessica Elizabeth Hinkle. Sarah Elaine Hogaback. Luke Edwin Hood. Nathan Charles Hall. Jonathan Wesley Hurt. 
Christian Hasoy Infelasi. Nadia Rose Therese Johnston. Brayden Isaiah Jones. Ava Elizabeth Marie Kennedy. Lauren Genevieve Kenny. Christina Hyo Un Kepler. Jessica Catherine King. Curtis James Lakin. Brandon David Lees. Scott Robert Leeser. Harry Violet Lurch. William Henry Machen. Meta Tidemond Madsen. Ariana Giovanna Maldonado. Ronald Hunter Mason. Kabian Matthew McCoy. James Arthur Miller. Julia Marie Moeller. Christopher Bradley Moore. Christian Taylor Moran. Raina Marie Morley. Mercedes Marie Morris. Brianna Nicole Monday. Kiera Riley Murphy. Alexis Hope Myers. Jason Keller Nally. Benjamin William Nedro. Evan Andrew O'Brien. Sean Wesley O'Neill. Jana Jean Pavelko Snyder. Christopher Michael Payne. Tyler Dakota Pearl. Colin Patrick Pelkey. Clayton Nicholas Pellicott. Thomas Raymond Peluso. Naya Nicole Perez. Abigail Riley Perry. Isabel Rose Porcella. Bryce Lee Powell. Morgan Carol Pratty. Cassandra Riley Preston. Alexis Victoria Regler. Addie Jean Remsberg. Giselle Eunice Requeno Martinez. Isabella Ava Maria Ratano. Emily Paige Rimmel. Avery Allen Roberts. Aiden Montana Roberts. Andrea Monserrat Rodriguez. Abigail Rain Roe Miller. Charles Davis Roe Miller. Roland Joseph Paul Rohrbach. Kirsten Marie Rock. Grace Lafronia Rose. Aiden Garrig Rosenberg. Ethan Henry Sabine. Veronica Lee Sattler. Connor Patrick Bennett Sarnicki. Michael John Bennett Sarnicki. Nathan Andrew Savage. 
Tyler Wayne Savage. Sierra Marie Scafidi. Alan Lee Shackleford Jr. Maggie Elizabeth Sharp. Delaney Michelle Schaup. Stephen Matthew Sia. Brianna Marie Ferry Simmons. Grayson Ryan Simmons. Aurora Borealis Smith. Aubrey Paul Smothers. Brittany Marie Snoots. Erica Haley Sofranco. Cole Hamilton Spence. Connor Odin Stalzer. Benjamin Otto Sterrett. Anna Grace Stolman. Jonathan William Stone. Devin James Lloyd Subramanian. Rudisha Lee Swain. Caitlin Patricia Sweeney. Kevin William Tab. Camden Hunter Taylor. Jared Eli Thornton. Natalie Gracina Thrift. Jillian Catherine Tissue. Brianna Lee Trainer. Yesmi Noemi Torcios Vieira. Kellen Marie Valentino. Hartley Joseph Walden. Willow Ann Walters. Dustin Keith Weber Jr. Rachel Nicole Weber. Raquan Latrell Welch. Kara May Wenner. Heidi Lynn Wisman. Hannah Taylor White. Madeline Grace White. Emily Elizabeth Willems. Georgiana Grace Willems. Stephen Edward Williams. Cole Michael Wilson. Cade Matthew Woodruff.
and don't 